Okay, that's the wrong song, but hey there everyone, and welcome to another video, and um, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys even more cool stuff that I've done with the Android tablet. In the previous video I showed you guys that I got audio pass-through working through my computer. Well, you can hear that going on, um, and now, in this update, it's even cooler. Um, because if you look in the lower left, or lower right corner, sorry, um, you will see a little music player. Well, that is actually the tablet. I am actually recording the tablet. So I can do that, and I'm actually recording the audio output, of course, so you can hear Anders Hansen going here. Um, okay, uh, I don't think I'm cleared to use that song. I definitely am cleared to use that song, um, so that's cool. Um, Greener Grass, awesome. Um, so yeah, it's cool. Um, I can use the tablet UI, um, but that's not really what this video is about. I mean, yeah, cool. I've, I've gotten that working again even more. Um, the only thing is that the screen recording actually kills my battery faster than the USB cable can charge it. So, I will be losing battery, but it is plugged in, um, which is weird. Um, but I do want to show you guys something on this tablet um, that I've been working on, and it's for the PCnet. Um, so I'm going to pop into Visual Studio, and, and we're going to load up um, the PCnet. Alrighty. You might be able to see it at the top there that I was doing something else with PCnet. Uh, that'll give you a little hint, so the people who are paying attention to that will already know. Um, Alright, so Visual Studio is loaded up. Now I'm going to go on the tablet. I go All Apps. And notice these two little icons here up, or here with the X's on them, and they say Big Phoenix on them. Um, one of them says bitphoenix.pcnet.companion. Let's open that. Alright, so that's cool. That's something. It's it has the tiny little app that I'm writing um, that has large text and medium text on it. Well, uh, let's actually start up the PCnet. We're in the main menu. The tablet's has popped up with a little dialogue. There's some debug stuff, but ignore that. Now, if we look at the tablet, there's a little list entry in it saying, Michael, user at hyponatremia. Um, let's actually go into the PCnet. Um, so we're on the desktop now, and we'll open up the terminal. Um, my host name is actually, or my system name is actually user at hyponatremia. Um, don't ask why it's using that host name as a debug host, but it is. Um, well, what happens if we click it on the tablet? Well, a little screen came up. Um, my desktop went away, um, but the terminal is still there. That's a bug with peace and I'm gonna fix that. But, um... If we keep the terminal there and we zoom in, if we look, because this text is small and I really need to skin the game, um, and I really need water too, um, but it says PCGate OS has detected a mobile device on your network that is, er, that is trying to um, connect as an agency companion device. Um, and you'll see on the tablet at the bottom, it's actually asking me for a PIN code. Um, and Peace er, and Peacegate OS up here is telling us to authorize this or er, to authorize this device. Please enter the um, the PIN displayed above. Um, and it says your device should um, should prompt you to enter er, to enter the PIN. Um, to disconnect the device, I just click the disconnect button below. Well, I haven't programmed that yet, so it's not there. But there is a pin at the top here. It's a 6-digit code. Um, 
and I believe it's one eight seven three eight nine. You can tell how good my reading skills are. Um, but let's enter that into the tablet right here because it's asking us for it. So one eight seven three eight nine. All right. One eight seven three eight nine enter now we've got to actually click the submit button because I'm a horrible programmer all right it says pin accepted and it's taken us back to that pin UI because I haven't really programmed anything past that um, but that just shows that I've actually got a tablet and a computer communicating with each other over Wi-Fi and through PCnet. So that's something. Um, what I also want to see, though, is what happens if I close PCnet. That I haven't tried yet. Okay, it doesn't do anything yet. Um, but then we can close out of the app. Cool. Um, so what was that? Well, with this whole tablet setup thingy, it gave me a bit of an idea with the PCnet. Um, now I'm not aware of any other hacking games that are doing this. Maybe someone in the comments can tell me. Um, I'm really curious to know because I would like to see how it works in other games and see if it's really feasible and doable. Um, but basically my idea is, well, with my setup here, um, my tablet is sort of a control center for, well, music, um, if I want to, I can put on some OS first timer, and you can see right there that I can even do mobile banking. <laughs> I'm not gonna log into that. Uh, but I've got everything on here, um, right in front of me. It's very easy to see, it's very easy to use, I can even pop onto our Discord if I want to. Um, so basically, it's a control center for me. Um, what Discord is this? This is PCnet. Okay, we're on the PCnet. Um, so that's cool. Um, yeah, so it's a control center for me, basically, for my development environment. Um, so the idea is that I'm going to make PCnet have a little bit, bit of a control center application, mostly for myself, but also for other people who want to do a similar sort of setup. That mobile companion app is how that's going to work. You open up the app, connect to your game, under the pin, and then you get to do things like access your in-game email, see chat, um, control missions, so start them, abandon them, retry them if you fail, and basically manage your system as a, is sort of like a second monitor for Peacegate OS. Um, so that's how that's going to work. I, I figured not a lot of hacking games, if any, do that. Um, I know Grand Theft Auto V has iFruit, which is close to this. Um, I don't even know if that works on Android, though, even still. Um, it's been years since I've tried it. Um, so PTA V has that, um, sort of a mobile companion app. It's mainly used for training your in-game dog, of all things. Um, <clears throat> But this is going to be more integrated with the game. Now, it's not going to be something you need to play the game. It's something you could have if you want it. Um, so, yeah. Um, I was looking at my notifications there. But, anyway. Um, so, yeah. PCNet's getting a mobile companion. <laughs> Which is really cool. Um, but another thing I want to show you guys is with that whole tablet being recorded thingy, um, it's actually done through an open source utility that you can do over USB debugging. And because it's USB debugging, well, first of all, there it is on the screen, um, but I'm using it with a mouse and keyboard. So maybe we can pop into Shintos Linux and see what they're saying in there. Um, People are for some reason talking in here because why not? But actually, Android is treating this as if I'm as if it's running on a computer, like a Chromebook or something. 
Um, except for that, that's still treating it like it's a touch screen because it knows it's a tablet, but <laughs> I can type with a mouse and keyboard. I am typing this on my tablet through my computer using SCRCPY. You all are on YouTube right now. I, I can't do control enter. Um, but there we go. I wonder what this little spot. Oh, that's the code block. Alright, and then. Yeah, so if I ever want to use Android with a mouse and keyboard, I can. Uh, that's a little awkward. Uh, I can't get that app to go away. G go away, please. There, 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 there you go. Um, and I can control my music as well. So yeah, we can do that. So yeah, um, that's cool. Now I'm going to actually disconnect this because it does kill the battery. Um, kills it a lot. Um, but yeah, um, and you'll notice that as soon as I kill the app, it, it disappears in OBS, so that's how that works. Um, but anyway, I think that'll do it for this video. Um, so yeah, PeaceNet Mobile Companion, I'll be, I'll be working on that a little more, probably during a stream, either tonight or next weekend. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys how it's working so far, and that it works at all, which is absolutely amazing. Um, and sort of update you guys on the, on the setup. So yeah. Um, anyway, I'm Michael. Thanks for watching. Oh, that would be such a perfect opportunity for a fade out to an outro, but I don't edit my videos. So um, yeah. Anyway, for real now. Thanks for watching.